Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Getting changed for the day. Oh, I'm in high spirits. Very happy today. I was also wearing this outfit yesterday, but I love it so much. I'm just gonna wear it again. Also, brand new shiny chrome nails. Just loving, loving this trend right now. I went over yesterday to uh, the hot blend because I'd actually broken a nail because they were like twice this length. They were literally out here. And I had been like tucking my vest into my trousers and do you know when it like snaps back and like goes through and you go, ah. one of those moments. So today I am just, just doing my thing. One thing that I really want to look into is this box. Yeah, I've been wanting to open this box for a couple of days because I have chosen some goodies from Lily Silk. So this is a paid for advertorial with Lily Silk. Um, it's just nice every season they send me like all of my favorite basics and also more like elevated pieces and it's perfect timing because obviously it's fashion month coming up. I'm always needing like the perfect tops, perfect shirts, perfect like pieces to pair with other items. And I just feel like since I've been working with Lily Silk, they've only elevated their offering. The site has been like redone, the site's awesome, so easy to shop. The imagery that they use, but also the designers that they've got right now, they're just designing so many fantastic pieces. So I'm really in love with what they've got. I've got a number of things here that I want to go through and I'll probably go through everything here and then add in some cutaways of me wearing everything so you can see, because I'll seem to give everything a bit of a steam. Also, I think the whole branding is lovely, like for the more elevated pieces that are slightly more premium price point, everything kind of comes in a lovely box, special touch. So this piece I was really intrigued by, it's actually one of their silk blazers. It comes with a bed Belt. It comes with this thick silk belt as well. It's a really kind of robust silk. And I was just quite intrigued about how this was going to look because I've not seen Lily Silk do a piece like this before. And like I said, I will give it a proper little steam up. The sort of thing you could wear with black jeans for an evening. It's just a slightly different take on a blazer. All nicely steamed. I don't know why I haven't managed to take out the tags yet, but still. Um, this is really quite sweet. It's really sweet. I like that it's not too long. Simple wrap. I do love this larger tie on this. And it almost has these like tassely, um, loose thread finish to the ends. I actually don't have a silk blazer like this. So this is really quite lovely for my collection. Like I said, it feels, it feels very elevated, that kind of thing you would wear literally for an evening event if you were just wearing some really tight fitting trousers or jeans. Yeah, it's really lovely actually. I really love the length of this. It's just a really fantastic piece to throw on for a more elevated evening look. I'll leave the link down below, as with all these next pieces, and I also have a discount code for Lily Silk. I'll put it right here for you guys, so you can get a little discount if you are going shopping. Also, I don't know if I made this clear yet, but if you're looking for silk pieces, particularly, Lily Silk is your gal. It's kind of the place to go for super high quality silk. I don't own some silky cargo pants um, and these I thought were really foul because they've got the cuff round the ankle to pull them in. But of course, when these are beautifully steamed, they're gonna look so chic and cool and casual. Perfect with like a white cotton tee like this so you get the difference in the texture. So you get the kind of shiny versus some matte cotton, that sort of feel. And again, this is kind of brand new Lily Silk season little pockets on there. Right now, these trousers are so cool. Boxing trouser vibes. Yeah, I love that you can kind of pull them up onto the ankle, that kind of billowing shape around the ankle. I add these with a pair of black heels. I love this kind of look. When you get really casual trousers and throw them on with heels, I love that kind of juxtaposition. I think it works so well. Um, so yeah, so cool. And really lightweight, like, if it starts getting hot, really hot again, these would be perfect. Love the drawstrings, you can pull them in a little bit. So comfortable, like super duper comfortable. These are a hit. But then Lily Silk also do cotton and cashmere. They do cashmere extremely well. Um, I mean, they've just branched into a lot of really beautiful premium quality pieces. Now this, I wish I could tell you how soft this is. This is just like the perfect plain white tee. Again, like I said, this time of year, I just need the perfect 
basics in my wardrobe so I can pair them with anything. It's the reason why I've been buying loads of tank tops recently because obviously in the heat but also the season, also the trend is tanks. So basics, that work. So this is like their signature basic perfect white t-shirt, just crew neck. But honestly, the quality of this is insane. I wish I could tell you just how soft this is. It's cotton and also silk, so that's why it's super duper soft. I've just realised actually, unfortunately, they sent me the wrong size. They sent me a large. So actually, Alex might love this. Um, but I'll be reordering this in an extra small. But honestly, that that's blown me away. The quality of that is insane. I've looked at if I had no makeup on, I would rub that on my face. Yeah, so like I said, this is actually size large. So it's technically too big, but I'm gonna reorder this in a size six. But otherwise, this is for the husband now. I'm going through this quite quick because I've got quite a lot here. Ooh, okay, these I've also been excited about. These are kind of like a wide, wide leg black trouser, again in silk. I just really like the waistband on these. It's got this like tuxedo style back and waistband. So it should be nice and high waisted, it should fit beautifully. It does also have belt loops. And again, I just thought this was such an elevating kind of piece to go with everything and perfect with heels. Okay, these trousers I absolutely love. I love the more casual palazzo feel of these. Really lightweight, billowing, gorgeous drape on these. A great high waist fit without being too high or too restrictive. Of course, I could belt these as well if I wanted to, but they just fit so nice. And the kind of thing, again, you could wear with trainers, but also you could style them up with heels. These are a really, really great find. In fact, this whole look, I'm absolutely in love with this. Such a great pair of trousers. Love. Next up, you know that I could not have done a Lily Silk little haul without a pair of pyjamas. <laughs> So these are their brand new style pyjamas and I just love this very buttermilk lemon yellow feel. Also it's a little bit shorter than the average kind of pyjama top which I really really liked about it. So it's a little bit shorter and it's kind of like mid three quarter length sleeves. So super duper cute to go with the slightly longer shorts. So obviously you kind of pull these up a little bit more high waisted but the colour is just so pretty and again I just have so many of these in my collection because I wear them all all the time so obviously every few days I want to change my pyjamas and yeah they're just really really beautiful to sleep in. How sweet are these shorts? They're just a little longer than the average kind of short but what I like about them is that they obviously then cover up this part of the thigh that a lot of women just like to you know, keep a little bit more covered, and um, rather than being like the teeny tiny little shorts. Um, also, of course, you could tuck this if you want. Oh, it's so nice. It's almost like fashionable bedwear. And I love this colour, this like very light, creamy uh, buttermilk yellow. It's gorgeous. Really cool neckline with the lapels and the collar, just like this. It's beautiful. I mean, the quality is stunning. It, it, it feels gorgeous on the skin. It's just like a really elevated chic pyjama feel. Again, I think there's loads of colours in this as well. Oh yeah, this, this I've been so excited about. This is absolutely gorgeous. This, this silk shirt, there's something quite heritage and fun about it. It almost reminds me a bit of like an Hermes patterning. Um, and I love the colours I've chosen. It's cranberry with the orange and it's like chains all wrapped around and then they've got like the Lily Silk logo here. Um, this is really, really gorgeous. Again, beautiful quality silk. That tucked into one of these trousers would be beaut. Okay, this is one of my favourite pieces. I love this patterning. Again, I feel you could wear this more casual, dress it up a bit. I'm just going to tuck it into these trousers that I'm wearing here. But yeah, this is kind of such a beautiful shirt for every day and I love the feel of this. But it's 100% mulberry silk. It just feels really gorgeous, like a really thick silk. It doesn't feel quite as lightweight. I love this whole look. It's really chic. Yeah, this is amazing. This shirt is honestly gorgeous. I'm gonna see if they do any more colours in this. In honesty, I always like to pick up a classic shirt as well. And I noticed that they've just brought out this new shirt with these little pearl buttons on it. So again, it's kind of like the classic white silk shirt, just slightly more premium. Just make sure you always hand wash them and you're good to go. Beautiful white shirt. Really wanted to wear this off over something else. 
so I could try it a bit more open. Quality, the fit of these is really beautifully done. Um, but I kind of wanted to wear this a bit more casually, like open. By the way, this does come in loads of other colours as well, but you can't beat a white silk shirt. Pull up the sleeves, just add some shape. Yeah, I love that. And it automatically becomes more casual. Just wear it over a vest top, bandeau, even a bralette, something like that. It's just nice with the extra added little pearl buttons. This makes it touch more premium. Yeah, that is cool. Then this, this just needs a really, really good steam, but this is just a really kind of military-esque midi dress with a belt to pull it in. And again, I feel it's the kind of thing you could wear more open. Um, well, that's kind of what I was envisaging when I got this, just wearing it a bit more open, a bit more casual. But equally, if you wanted to wear this with over knee like dark brown chocolate boots or black boots or beige boots even, or just throw in your favourite pair of Birkenstocks or something like that. A casual but gorgeous quality shirt dress. Beautiful drape to this. It's got belt loops. I mean, you don't have to use this belt that's come with it. You could pair it with your own, you know, design a belt, anything you want to do. So let's add a bit more shape into this. Lily Silk does some really fantastic shirt dresses. Like if you're after a shirt dress like this, like the kind of thing you can throw on every day, and it's like a casual um, like elegant staple. They do like every colour, every style. This is just a brand new one. I loved the extra pockets. More military-esque feel, but more utilitarian. The stone beige shade, I love. Like this just so easy styled with a pair of tan, tan mules. Just a nice big pair of sunnies to go out. It's really, really chic. Yeah, this is so gorgeous. So we've got a load of new silk bobbles. Oh, and, and they do these silk headbands. So say if you're doing your makeup in the morning, so I can leave some in my, near my sink downstairs and also here with my desk. And then anytime I'm doing makeup or wash my face, I can actually get my hair out of my face. So that one's in black, black silk scrunchie, white silk scrunchie. And then I got some slightly fatter. So they've got literally all the different types of scrunchies, different sizes. You can get five in black, five in white, for example, but I wanted to get a couple of each colour. Then I got a white headband. And of course, obviously, this is all good in the recycling bin. Blue headband. So I've got a load of new silky scrunchies. So that's perfect. I'm going to put those actually downstairs. So that is everything. That is going to be so great for fashion month, actually. Just lots of really great elevated pieces. So yeah, so that's every single piece. Let me know what you think, guys. I'll leave all the links down below to Lily Silk so you can go shop. And as I put on the screen, I do have a discount code as well for Lily Silk. So again, I'll put that here. Hopefully that helps massively. But yeah, I now need to kind of go back in time and or forward in time. Forward in time? And iron all of this and get this sorted. Oh my goodness, by the way. By the way, I bought a new bag. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I need to take these bobbles off my hand. It's actually starting to cut off the circulation. I managed to get hold of this brand new YSL bucket tote bag thing. Um, I'm absolutely in love with it, guys. What's Alex in? It's leaf blowing. I knew it would get to him. <laughs> it's been so hot outside that a lot of the leaves have obviously died on the trees. And then yesterday we had a bit of rain and wind and it's just knocked all the dead leaves off the trees. So now our whole garden is just filled with leaves. So Alex was like having palpitations. Anyway, let me put this out so I can show you properly. I'm, I'm just calling this the it bag of the season, to be honest, because I think it came out a couple of months ago. It immediately went out of stock. And then I put myself on the waiting list. So it's been a couple of uh, months that I've been on the waiting list and I managed to get her. I love her so much. It's just, I know it, she's, she's massive, but you can also pull her in corner of her but you get what I mean you can attach the two sides together and it kind of collapses it down a little bit but I just love it has its own inbuilt little makeup bag holder or passport holder whatever you want to hold in it but whenever I take out tote bags like this say if I'm going into London I'm going to a spin class or whatever I've been taking big big bags a little bag to put all my makeup in and then my gym kit in the bag so I've been loving it for that but it'll also hold a massive laptop in it I'm definitely taking this to New York for fashion week it's like my travel bag I'm just absolutely obsessed with it good morning guys I'm just having some breakfast actually I'm just having some um deliciously Ella granola mm -hmm. I'm getting ready first of all the Roche Posay and Thelios SPF 50 
wow what a summer we're having by the way sorry segue this summer i can't believe this english summer the amount of times i've said it to alex when we've been like driving along in the sunshine i'm like wow this is like i think the best summer maybe that i can ever recall in terms of day after day sunshine like waking up every day and having sunshine i've never experienced anything like it it's just really unique last year we didn't even have a summer i think we had like 10 days of sun and then it went to like shocking for the rest of um the rest of the summer was rain it was really like down heartening whereas this summer we're actually getting some real sunshine and it's god it's so uplifting i I'm, i mean i'm also very aware that, that it's a um likely all very much linked to global warming and climate change but equally it's not extreme weather right now it's just constant sun and it's you know the constant sunshine is just heavenly today i am off to cheltenham i'm about to drive myself to cheltenham I'm taking the new Range Rover, obviously, because it's such such a lovely, such a wonderful drive. What do I want to wear today? I might wear this. Laura Mercier. Oh, in fact, sorry, I just used the Dior concealers. But I used the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser Light Revealer in porcelain. That's not a bit light for me now, actually. I'll make it work. I have a full tan on. In the last video, I was complaining about the fact that I was very, very untanned. And I needed to sort my life out. Well, this is it. I did a full Saint Tropez town and woke up feeling like a goddess. So honestly, the difference it makes to my body and, and my feelings towards myself is rather wonderful. Alex is currently on with clearing out the entire garage today. We've just finished with the bedroom, which I will to show you later. Although we still need that painting, unfortunately. It's, it's a shame when you can't get builders and painters to get the schedules to match. Oh, I have a visitor. Is that who I think it is? Bobby! Hey Angel! Do you want to come sit on here? Do you want to come sit on your bed? Good boy! Aren't you? Oh babe, now I'm trying to do my makeup. Can you please go sit over there? I can't really have you on here when I'm trying to do my makeup. Um, anyway, thank you. So, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to Cheltenham today. Um, it's all very exciting. I'm going to see the Holland Cooper team their beautiful offices in Cheltenham and we're going to be having a meeting and talking through some things. All super exciting stuff! So I'm going to bring you along for a little bit of that. Also by the way if I wasn't using that I would be using this. I love, I love a cushion foundation. Don't know what it is about it but the ability to be able to just like blot a sponge into a little Thing like this and then like dab, 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 dab. especially for taking it away to you know say you're going out for the day or whatever and you want to take your foundation with you um i think this does come with a little pad but i never keep them um but anyway yeah it's a clay de po raging cushion foundation and it's amazing and you you guys know you guys know how i feel about the raging cream foundation which i think is my uh my number one foundation in fact i've got two in here that are halfway finished but yeah, this this is rocking my world as well right now. Anyway, but overall, that base is lovely. That's a that's a Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. I mean, it looks really fab. Gosh, it really looks fab on camera. How's it? Um, I've got a fresh VB liner in number two. Let's make these lips bigger. Still overlining my lips. I just love this shade so much. With like a flat cupid's bow, it just makes your lips look a lot bigger like how much bigger am I? like i look like i've got lips now compared to before when i had foundation all over them a bit of that and then i'm gonna go i'm gonna use a bit of the rimmel cappuccino which is dark but darker and it's got the most amazing like shadowy finish it just adds dimension so i just like to put that in a few places again it just adds shadow and dimension in there and then um what should we use in the middle Carolina, uh, Valentino, too pink. That's something just a bit lighter. Anastasia, haze. No. Do you know what? I really need to hurry up. I like really need to hurry up. I'm taking, I'm taking my sweet time here. <clears throat> Let's go with the Anastasia bronzer in warm tan as well. Straight onto a Smith brush, one one eight. Oh, it's so nice, like so nice. Gosh, I look like I've been in the Bahamas. Love it when that happens. 
a little bit of nose contour. Oh gosh, this colour is really fabulous. It's really nice. I'm going to add this over my lid, my lids too, because that is such a gorgeous warm shade. I forgot how wonderful this was. Like over my cheeks as well, because it's a really nice like blushy vibe too. Oh hell yeah. I'm enjoying this. It looks so glowy. Whoa. Do you know what? I'm going to do another combo here. Now I've just remembered how amazing that is. Let me use this as well. Yes, this is amazing, this blush. For this glowy, like, sun-kissed vibe, this is shade. So it's Anastasia Beverly Hills again. Shade Nectarine Stick Blush. <sighs> Showed this on a video recently. It is stunning. It's like a really light peach tone. And it's... It goes like a dream with the bronzer. It's almost got a slight neon feel to it with the brightness, but it blends into that bronzer so nicely. Hmm. Gosh, the difference the tan makes, guys. To me, anyway. <sighs> Stuff on my face, I can feel it. Where's it coming from? It must be the brush. I can feel it. I can feel it. Right. Oh, yesterday was such a good day. Oh, I've by the way, I've just started. I've just started applying my powder differently. I started applying it like this with a with a dry sponge, and the Nars powder. Instead of using a brush and wiping, I've just been tap 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 tapping, and tapping it in like this just to stop creasing. Because I I have real creasing under my eyes, because. <laughs> I'm so expressionful. I, I move my face a thousand million times per day, especially when I'm speaking to people. And it means that I, my under eyes crease a lot because I'm constantly smiling. So the crease, crease, crease. I'm finding that that works quite nicely for me. So I'm enjoying that. San Juan from NARS. So great as an eyeshadow. It'll just set those creams. So this, do you know, this is pretty much an everyday makeup tutorial right now, guys. I just woke up, I just sat down at my desk before and I was like, do you know what? I've not talked to you guys about makeup in a little while, so here it is. And I feel like I've really got my makeup to a good place recently. Some VB um, eyeliner. The very outer corner. And then I like to just go into the lash line a bit. That's literally it. I literally put like a smudge in a smudge. And then I've been enjoying using... Where are you, buddy? There you are. I'm enjoying using this brush, it's a Dior brush. Dior 13 brush. I've been using that very, very lightly. I can't see a thing I'm doing here, but you know what I mean? I'm just smudging it out into a wing and then bringing that back. Get rid of any excess. Yeah, you just smudge, smudge, smudge. It creates a really light line that isn't, I just don't like a very bold liner look most days. And then what I've been doing is taking the Vive palette and just getting like Lava Rock or a bit of Goodnight the Black and just adding a bit of that over top almost as a setter. Cool. Mascara. Do you know what? I'm going to go in first of all with the Dior Show Maximizer. Just because my lashes here have got a little bit unruly recently. And I just want to get in at the lashes first before I go in with black. I'm just ready for a new LVL, so these are just looking a little bit haywire. Okay, into my new new favourite Carolina Herrera mascara. This has blown me away. Like I worked on this recently with the Carolina Herrera team because they've just launched it. It's a fabulous size mascara, but I am absolutely obsessed with it. It's jet black. I love the brush. I love the way it makes my lashes look. I mean, I don't know if you saw the reel I put up where I put the mascara on one eye versus the other eye and it's like pow I was genuinely sat here like whoa this is good like I say it's difficult now though because my my lashes right now like I say are losing the plot for any of you guys that get LVL you'll know exactly the stage I'm talking about right before you need a new LVL um, I'm absolutely obsessed with a still <laughs> I've been loving this for years actually since it came out um, the Valentino um, Eyebrow Trio. I have the shade Taupe. I'm always Taupe in brow stuff. I feel like brow brands, I feel like brands use the same colour name. Potentially maybe it's so it helps people. <laughs> it's just great. So it's got the brush, which comes off. It's got a coal section. And a bit like most, is the pen. 
a felt tip pen. That was awesome. Okay, guys, right. Um, it's a few hours later, it's like half four now. I've been at, I'm currently at the, um, the Holland Cooper offices in Cheltenham. So I had a little drive over here. And I say a little drive, it's quite, it's quite a drive, but it's a beautiful drive through the Cotswolds. Absolutely beautiful weather, it's incredible. I am, I'm just so unbelievably overwhelmed right now. Bye! <laughs> oh, wait a minute, oh, I'm putting, put my shoes on the wrong feet. I'm just putting my little um, Holland Cooper drivers on. So we've been sat together having a meeting about my upcoming work with Holland Cooper. And as you may know, you may not know if you're brand new, I previously created a clothing collection with Holland Cooper. In fact, we've done three. We've done three now. All of them were super successful, um, limited edition pieces. They all sold out and it was just absolutely incredible. I got a lot of comments recently saying, are you still working with Holland Cooper? And I was like, yes, but things are coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm able to say that we do have a collection coming for autumn 22. So in a couple of months time, it's a very limited, short collection, like small collection. Um, super excited. They're such incredible pieces. I've been trying them on today for size just to check that we're happy. We're over the moon, let's just say that. So yeah, it's just, I'm just absolutely thrilled to bits. We've also been going through plans for spring, summer 23 and I had so many ideas for this collection and new silhouettes and new styles and really being able to put my mark on this collection even more so than previous because I feel like that's what you guys would want. Because we've been planning it for so long now, this is, I don't want to, I don't want to give too much away, but this collection is going to be phenomenal. The autumn collection plus a spring summer 23 collection are both absolutely out of this world. <laughs> Just unreal. The fact I've been able to right from the start talk about fit and features, lengths of cuffs, length, lengths of hemlines, moving buttons around, making it perfect the way I would design it from scratch is just such a dream come true for me. Yeah, I'm just absolutely over the moon right now. Yeah, I don't want to give too much away right now, but let's just say amazing things are coming. And if you like my style and the things that I wear, then you are going to absolutely love what we have coming up, guys. Let's just say that. Um, right, I just need to drive home now. I am in the comfort of the brand new Range Rover though, which I am honestly, this car is an absolute dream. I love it, both little car seat in the middle. Oh, what an exciting day. Okay, I'm back in this room again. I'm gonna have to move out this room because otherwise it's gonna get a little bit annoying. But I realized when I was watching this back, maybe I'll go in this room for once. Why not? I realized when I was watching this back and I was editing up the video that I didn't really get to record anything from the Hole and Cooper meeting, which is a real shame. But at the same time, I thought, you know, I can't really bring you along and kind of show you the ins and outs of what we're doing because it's quite a secure meeting and obviously it's it's all big things that are coming. I didn't want to give it away too soon and sort of show you everything. But then when I got there, I realised that um, obviously Jade and, and the wonderful team at Holland Cooper were kind of recording a few bits. So they've shown a few little snippets. So it's made me think, okay, I can show a little bit more. So that's great. Yeah, it was just such an amazing day like amazing day. It was just a few hours going through everything like for autumn and for spring. Yeah, I'm really excited about what's to come. I know I've said all this already, but yeah, just to show you a little bit more, got this little um, little deck for autumn and 22 and spring, summer 23. Obviously I've kind of rebranded recently. I was in the fro for 10, for 10 years, well, nine and a bit years. And then obviously recently rebranded to Victoria on Instagram and Victoria McGrath on TikTok. And so because of that, we've kind of had to rebrand the collaborations I do. So my Edge of Ember collection, my jewellery collection, and also Holland Cooper and my clothing collection that I work on are both now under Victoria, which is quite exciting. So they're no longer Holland Cooper and In The Fro, it's now gonna be Holland Cooper and Victoria and Edge of Ember and Victoria, which I think keeps it a bit more cohesive. Um, and obviously going forward, more people will likely know me as Victoria McGrath than they will in the fro. Especially newer people that are following me right now. 
like if this is the first video you've ever seen you'll be like what is in the fro my youtube channel is still in the fro but I am no longer that on kind of social media channels. So yeah, so we've rebranded. So Alex kind of created this cute little Victoria logo. So you'll be seeing more of that on all of the collaborations that I bring out for the future, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, but what else? What else can I kind of talk to you about? I can't show you, I can't show you anything really in this document, unfortunately. For autumn, we've got a couple of really beautiful pieces, but then spring, summer is where it really kind of kicks off. And we are designing a number of pieces um, together that are just extremely Holland Cooper but also extremely me. Yeah I mean I feel like I should clarify on that because the previous collections that we've done have been all me obviously like I haven't just stuck my name on things. I was able to give my own opinions my own thoughts and control over a lot of the features of everything that we did before. I could choose the fabrics, the finishes, button placements, logo placements, sizing um, of products so for example if we go a bit more oversized or a bit more fitted and also lengths of things. So from that respect, I had control over the things I really wanted to control, whilst also adhering to Holland Cooper's beautiful, usual silhouettes and cuts. So it was very much a Holland Cooper in the fro kind of collaboration collections, which have been so popular and successful. Whereas for the collections that are coming up, because we've worked on them a couple of years, it's been a while now that we've been talking through these collections and it's meant that I've almost been able to add a lot more, a lot more of my own flair and ideas even more so into these collections. So yeah, I just can't wait for them to come out now. Just really, really exciting, really exciting. Uh, yeah, so I just can't wait, just can't wait to share more on that really, really, really excited about it. Anyway, what else do I have to tell you about? Oh, I mean, in terms of general life, by the way, the house is almost finished now. The radiators still aren't on. We haven't managed to get the plumber over this week. They're very, very busy. And we're also not able to get the painter in for a little while. So that's gonna have to wait a little moment. But as soon as that's on, I wanna show you everything properly. There's just no point, I think, showing you in this video because it's just the same as it was before. So yes, yeah, so I'll show you those kind of like homely updates really, really soon. By the way, absolutely loving this kind of stone beige lily silk shirt dress. I've been wearing this all day, I've done my calls in this today, it just feels really beautiful. I love it. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the haul earlier and everything else in the video. The next few videos that are coming up, we've got like a press trip next week, which is really exciting. I've not been on a press trip for a number of months and I always love that for content. So we've got a gorgeous press trip coming up with Tory Birch, and we've also got going up to fashion week coming up really exciting yeah so much is coming up so much is happening soon guys i promise so the videos will start getting even more kind of busy and lots of things going on i promise so yeah anyway i'll love you and leave you and i guess i'll see you in the next one bye